It's the first time a NATO member has shot down a Russian warplane since the 1950s. Though NATO had been warning for months of a potential serious incident with Russia flying so close to member state Turkey's airspace without coordinating arrangements in place. As we have uh, repeatedly made clear, we stand in solidarity with Turkey and support the territorial integrity of our NATO ally, Turkey. Speaking after an emergency meeting of NATO ambassadors, the organization's chief said it was time for cool-headedness on all sides. What we are calling for now is calm and de-escalation. This is a serious situation. This is a situation which uh, calls on uh, that we all are uh, uh, prudent and that we all uh, contribute to de-escalating uh, the situation. The incident comes at an awkward time for Russia and NATO. In the wake of the Paris attacks and the bombing of a Russian passenger plane in Egypt, relations between Moscow and the West, particularly with France, have improved significantly, brought together by the common goal of eradicating a common enemy, the group that calls itself the Islamic State. Russia and the Western powers had also recently taken at least tentative steps towards working together on a political solution to the war in Syria. But the relationship remains fragile and will be put to the test if at any point Turkey invokes Article 5 of the NATO treaty requiring all to come to a member's defence. Jack Barton, CCTV, Brussels.